This match was released first for our members on YouTube and Patreon. Becoming a member is the only way to watch all Purpose Wrestling shows presented in full. Thank you to all these YouTube and Patreon members who help us bring Purpose Wrestling to you. To support Purpose Wrestling, become a member at purposewrestling.com forward slash members. Link in the description. Purpose Wrestling, for the love of wrestling. I can't get rid of you, JJ. When are you going to realise that the dream is over? You and Rex are dead. And I bring Jay into it. Jay Alexander, I mean, I've had my history of him as well. And I kicked him to the curb and he couldn't get the job done either. And I found a much, much better tag team partner. I'm going to rip their shoulder from their body and I'm going to break their nose. So good to be back on the winning page. Up top. Boom. Yes. Don't make this the last time. James Farrell and Harry Sefton are back in purpose and I am surprised they have the gall to show their faces after trying to attack wrestling legend Steve Grady. Dubious. Dubious at best. Now, JJ Lynch and Jay Alexander made the same, but I shudder to think what they would have done had that not been the case. Had they had the opportunity, yes, I, I imagine bad things were to come. James Farrell rocking a new House of the Dragon inspired you know, is a ring jacket, is it a jacket? Cape? House of, House of the Dragon, Harry Potter sorting hat, <laughs> Harry Sefton, Game of Thrones looking team. Now we, we joke teams, but these two are dangerous. Yeah, they're all business in the ring and I, I can say that from the safety of the commentary booth shaped like a table here that um, they're not going to do anything to me. Mainly because they know, like you mentioned in the, in the previous match, uh, I'm undefeated here on purpose and they know not to. James Farrell took JJ Lynch to school the last time they were here and it was a dominating performance. Speaking of dominating performance, young Jay Alexander, in the last time he was here in a six person tag, Jay Alexander was beyond impressive, winning, well, falling short of actually getting the fall himself. Jay was beyond impressive, dealing most of the damage for his team at the last show. He was certainly a great backup for um, his team captain yet to, or well, yet to make his entrance in a moment. But uh, yeah, Jay Alexander, no, absolutely no slouch. Slouch? Well, there's no CH in there, sorry about that. Don't edit that out. And his improvement this year has been incredible. N night and day from his performances here last year, and all across the country, Jay Alexander has come such a long way. And then to, re and then to reiterate, uh, when we're talking about what well, great performance last show, we're talking about great performance this show. JJ Lynch, the captain of his of his of his trio, at the last show. JJ getting so excited at his team winning at the last show. You got to think that's a reflection, Tiggs, of how much of a difficult time. JJ's had since his return to professional wrestling, since his return to purpose. Started with these two idiots, Pharrell and Stefan, ruining the Rex Armstrong invitation of retirement gauntlet. Then getting, well, getting his ass handed to him by James Pharrell on the next show. Hadn't been a good return for I mean, JJ. Was, yeah, 100%. The same way we're living for a cost of living crisis. JJ Lynch is very much living for a cost of wrestling crisis where he can't seem to string anything together on his own. Cost of winning crisis. Cost of winning. Cost of winning. That's the, that's the price of fame. Now, who is going to start this match? JJ looking like he wants to be the one to start this match for the team. He needs to be careful. Sefton and Pharrell are beyond dangerous. It's, Pharrell is telling JJ and JJ what knows happened that. last time. JJ knows that. Give JJ's credit, JJ is a student of the game. JJ would have studied his tape, his match against Pharrell, seen where he could have found openings, seen where he made mistakes. But the thing is, James Pharrell is always working. Uh, in, the, in the same way Jordan Blakes is a master of his craft, James Pharrell is exactly the same monster. Tag straight away. Harry Sefton is in the ring and he looks delighted to be coming up against JJ Lynch. Hell of a history between these two. The crowd on top of Harry Sefton for his, I believe that's his gum shield, but he's turkey too. 
Sefton now getting under the skin of Lynch, asking where Rex Armstrong is. Didn't want to do that. What a forearm by Lynch. Chop and forearm and chop and chop. Lynch taking control. The aggression. This is something I've never seen out of JJ Lynch. And for those who have followed us, I, I, you remember distinctively at the last show, uh, in in the trios match uh, last at the last Purple show, JJ Lynch didn't get a crumb of offense in initially. So this is this is a stark contrast to his performance at the last show. Rolling sense on there. Lynch in control. The last time we saw Lynch spinning neck breaker, this aggressive was when he was trying to punch Sean Saeed in the face, and that you know we can all relate to that. Pharrell now cheeky kick to the back, distracting Lynch, trying to help out Sefton. Hasn't helped though. Look at that spiral DDT. Reversed by Sefton. Cross chop to the throw. Too much time there. You saw him. You saw him trying to give the eyes to James Pharrell, and that's just put him in the well, that's just put him in this uh, vulnerable position. The big man of his team in Pharrell, as he dubs himself the most dangerous technical wrestler in the country. Eyeballing Jay Alexander in the corner there. Some good tag team tactics there, getting himself between Lynch and Alexander takes. Yeah, no, and you can see it's just, it's, it's, it's the honour. It's the honour of Jay Alexander refusing to, uh, to lower himself, to get in the ring and involve himself in the same way Pharrell did earlier. Quick kick out by Lynch. Lots of fight left in JJ Lynch still. Jay is, Jay, uh, Jay is beholden to the, to the tag rope. Drop kick by Lynch, you right on the spine. Can you make that tag? Alexander tagging himself in. Again, you'll notice he tagged himself in there. Jay, and then it, 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 look, look, look at the way Jay just, 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 just kind of stood there. But you cannot deny, look at the physique, look at the strength of Jay Alexander. He's taking it now. He's definitely he's solving a problem right here. Jay Alexander embracing that big man style. Shoulder barge after shoulder barge, big boot. Yeah, you're right. I think he's calling for a gorilla press here. Gonna scoop oh, out there about thereabouts. Scoop slam, Pharrell yeah. reaching out for his corner, but your spine's got to be rocked off that drop press. kick. Oh. Lynch tagging himself back in, telling Jay Alexander to get out. Sneaky tag by Pharrell on to Seth. Wow. This is the kind of communication that you can't have in the tag team division at purpose. Seth and Pharrell taking control, sends on, rolling through Lynch. PK to the spine. Sefton looking nasty here, Teeks. A little bit of extra stank on that one. You can see it, you can see it in Harry Sefton's eyes. Dragging Lynch back to the corner, tagging Pharrell back in. He's had a quick respite. Kick to the gut. Again, James Pharrell, a real athlete's athlete here. Following Lynch into the corner as he whips him, not letting go of the wrist. S making sure each of those slams on the turnbuckle really count. We've seen Connor Mills do it, using the corner turnbuckle as an offensive weapon. Reversal by Lynch. Back body drop. Lynch is back, must be in pain, but he's got to look for that tag to Jay Alexander. Cut off by Pharrell. Again, I can't, I can't stress this enough. The athlete's athlete. To have, to have the wearable to, to take that take that slam and still know instinctively to just dive on your man but it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to be effective then and Jay, up Jay Alexander, Alexander knowing that Jay, uh, that Jay may come in may get fired up here no good for JJ Lynch what do you think of these tactics? Alexander's just making it hard for himself here yeah, I feel like uh, Mambo and I have fallen into that similar trap a lot of the time where where you know someone will antagonize either of us and you try to get in the ref's face when you're just trying to explain that what, what's going on the ref but the ref's uh, again the ref has no choice but to um, you know in the heat of a combat doubles match teams that's what they call it yeah that is what they call it Sefton now powering Lynch to the mat into that armbar screaming at Lynch to tap JJ now this is the kind of fortune that's fell upon Lynch he has come back to wrestling without you know much of a run up he's having trouble in all these matches he needs to get to, to Jay Alexander, who's been on fire recently. And like you say, with the combat doubles invitation, we're on the, you know, on the precipice here. Uh, are the team of JJJ Alexander? The, Into the cover by Sefton. Are they looking to put their, put their name in the, in the goblet? There are a few wildcard vacancies yet to fill, teams. There mind, you, mind you, speaking of goblets, if anyone's putting their name in any kind of goblet, I assume it's going to be James Farrell with that entrance jacket. But uh, we, I digress. Tag into Pharrell. It feels like a matter of time before Lynch has to give this one up. 
Jay Alexander has not looked like being able to get a tag for some time. Pharrell now getting into it with a member of the audience. Asking him how old he is on today's birthday. 26. We're not going to get 26 corner punches. A couple, of, couple of birthday beats, I think. Oh, no, we're not even, even going to get half over. Lynch powering Pharrell off the top. And now the team of uh, Jay Alexander and JJ Lynch. an illegal strike there. But, uh, I, I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not referee Oscar Hardy. Are you saying you've never resorted to that one, team? Absolutely not. I'm not. Uh, you don't sound you don't sound defeated like Sunshine Machine resorting to uh, ringside tactics like that. Now Lynch finally stringing together his first kind of extended We're offense. Six away. We're six Rowe. away. Lynch winds up and 26. Lynch is pooped out, but Pharrell's jaw has been tested. Thank you. That was the scientific term. Yeah, he's pooped. And after all that, uh, the knee to the gut. The athlete's athlete. JJ really needed to take that time off of that 26 shot to make the to make the tag there. But I think there's some sort of like I, I don't know if it's pride. I don't I don't know what it is. Ferrara working on Lynch in the corner. You Still see, trying to get to Lynch. Jay Alexander remonstrating up and down up and down the apron there. He's ready to go, but oh what? What a reversal by JJ oh, Lynch! I'll shut up. I'll shut up. That was, From the corner that was into a hurricane runner. Never mind. Needs to get that tag. Ferrara is in the way. The great Enziguri, no! Dragon Tail Whip Enziguri, whatever you call that one, Tiggs. White Chunk Benjamin. Jay Alexander trying to fire up this audience to get JJ going. There we go. Sefton and Alexander tagged in. Alexander underneath, avoids the clothesline. Gets a big clothesline of his own. Amazingly, the six foot six guy ducked the clothesline of the, you know, the, the gnome. Again. Reversal by Alexander. Discus forearm. Hey, I just think the big guys in this match make Harry look a bit shorter. Harry is a normal size. Step up, Enziguri. Powering Sefton up to his shoulders, into the fireman carry position. Sefton though, works his way out, sends Alexander into the corner, follows him in. Alexander avoids the contact. Harry tries to reverse, bit of a little technical get out there, crossing the legs, using the weight. Looking for, I don't know what, but he gets powered up into a fireman's carry. Alexander, beyond impressive. Oshie Garoshi across the knee. This one is over. Wrong in the town there, Jay. Wrong in the town. Sefton saved milliseconds before the three by James Farrell. Referee's, uh, got, referee's got to get him out of there. Okay, no, we'll Alexander looks to his drink. Maybe tagging JJ in too early after the abuse is taken. The team Sonic up, they've worked on some tag team manoeuvre. The high knee to the jaw. Tornado or spiral DDT. Seen that finish people in the past. And almost over, and but Pharrell I'm just makes the save. Pharrell sending Lynch into the corner. Big boot for Alexander. Alexander counters, sends him back into the ring. Look for another spiral DDT. This one could do it. Reversal by Pharrell. Close line. Deep from nowhere, wiping out Lynch. Ends a guru by Sefton. Takes out Jay Alexander. Big Harry still legal as well. Olympic slam. Sefton now looking to power him up into that scoop suplex right across the neck. This one is over, TK. That suplex is brutal. Wow. Alexander and Lynch tried their best, but Sefton and Pharrell absolutely dominant for most of this match. And, and you know, let's just take let's just take a beat to realise who got Quindy. And I mean, no, no, no disrespect to JJ, but again, it's uh, it's his shoulders, it's his shoulders that were pinned for free there. JJ just having trouble shaking off that ring rust. Jay Alexander, no slouch, as we said earlier. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of I, I'm 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 shocked. Jay Alexander bought his A game, and let's be fair to JJ Lynch. He was trying. He brought out some great moves. That that Hurricane Rider out of nowhere, those those suplexes he threw earlier in the match, but all to no avail. Just a couple of wires crossed there, and and the and the tag team, the tag team beat the two great singles. That's that's how it's always going to be. A great tag team will always beat two great singles wrestlers. Pharrell and Seth have been hanging out a lot. They've been trading together a lot. I know 
in the run-up to this match, Alexander and Lynch did a little training together. But they, yeah, like, you're right. They've been, uh, Alexander and Lynch have not been together for months, like Seth and Pharrell have. JJ looking a bit dejected, as you can imagine he would be. Alexander, though, ever the sportsman, trying to buck JJ up. They've got more in them. This is a tag team that I think could go somewhere. They've just got to work on their chemistry. JJ's got to work on that ring rust. He's got to kind of find his groove again, Teach. Lynch attacking Alex. What's he? Oh, uh, kidding me. Come on. Lynch has just lost his cool, wiping out Why Alexander. He's just choking him for real. He's just choking him for real. Look at the face of Jay Alexander turn purple. Lynch laying in the floor. Do we not have any helpers? What's going on? JJ, now what's he doing? Sends Alexander on, into the Come ring on. post. Be serious. And one more time, Alexander Skull. Third time, Alexander's head can we rallying. Can we get a crumb of help? Obviously, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck behind the booth here. JJ just choking Jay Alexander with his wrist tape now. Robbie Taylor actually trying to physically break the break the tape. One more time into the ring post. There's no need for that. JJ Lynch has snapped. We have not seen this turn of JJ Lynch ever. It was your fault, JJ. It was your fault. The crowd now telling JJ Lynch what they think. And he seems to. Seems to be smirking. Charging's not going to get him to stop though. JJ is not sorry about what he's done. Yeah, you beat up your mate after he did all the work in the tag match and then you lost it. What, what are we looking at here, JJ? What, what, are, you, what, are, what are you proving here? That's more like it. That is exactly our first win as a team. Yeah, it's just what we want to see. You did fantastic. I too, you, 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 you too. JJ, Jay. I guess that's what happens when you get two people that have nothing in common together. So unlike us, the only thing you guys want is to be liked by everyone else. Yeah. Well, apparently not JJ anymore. Careful. I guess losing Rex rubbed off on him. What's Maybe he he's himself now. I don't know. Maybe he's finally realizing that these people, you owe them nothing. They're not going to take you to the top, JJ. So all the best with that. But you're done, as far as we're concerned. We're finishing them. Let's get straight to business. Yes. Last show. I was robbed. You, we were robbed. You were robbed. Steve Gray put his hands on you. My hand. He touched your hair. Hold it. He pulled Hold it. it. I saw that. Yeah. Dirty man. I used to respect that man. Nah, no more. He's no done. More. He's, He's done. done. JJ's done. Rex is long done. They're all done. Jordan had the cheek to jump on the microphone after his match. <laughs> Fired up like he's just come off of a big earned victory. Let me guess. He's going for the championship. No, Not if we have anything to say about it. Jordan, before we even think about getting a snip of that title, going to deal with us. Whether it's me or him, this isn't over, Sunshine. It's not over. I'm going to even the odds and I'm going to do it in a way, Jordan, that as fans that chant your name, they won't like it. Yeah. So that is absolutely baffling to me. Like, how many times have I been left like Jay Alexander was left on the, on the deck, getting jumped? Yeah, me up. How many times have people like taken out any frustrations or tried to use me as some sort of message? Or... So, like, thanks very much, Jay. I've had a tag team partner. Uh, I I've done it before, so thank you very much. But that, honestly, 
I'm struggling to comprehend the reaction to that because that's what people have been telling me to do for a very, 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 very long time. Get more aggressive, take it more seriously, don't take everything, don't take it lying down. So I didn't take it lying down. And they boom. So thank you very much, but maybe I shouldn't have been listening to you for so long. Thank you for watching Purpose Wrestling. Don't miss any of the great pro wrestling action live in Wimbledon. Join us at the Merton Art Space. All details for tickets in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the Purpose Wrestling YouTube channel for more great matches. Thank you for watching and see you next time.